Hi guys, we are here for another video for my creative year. Now, I'll be really honest and <clears throat> tell you that I had no idea up until a little while ago what I was going to do with this month's challenges for my creative year. Absolutely no idea. Um, while I'm talking, I'm going to get out a couple of things. Yeah, I'm not gonna work. Let me try to use up some stuff. Anyway, um, our theme for the month is fun. And by the time you see this, the challenge we're, the challenge will already be out too. And our challenge is, crap, I forgot it already. Hold on. Our <laughs> challenge is forward. So, Fun and forward. I found those really interesting, but again, like I said, I had no idea where I was going to go with them. <clears throat> At the same time right now, my landing pad area where stuff sort of gets dumped until I can put it away has just gotten out of control again, as it does. And I have a sort of limited space where these things go on purpose because if I have a bigger space, it just gets to be ridiculous. And I can't function that way. And I need to clean it and put sort and put things away. But I need to work on this prompt. And I thought, okay, wait a minute, hold the phone. I find it fun to just randomly sort and put things away by pasting things into my journal. I, I think that's fun. And you know, I wipe off brushes in here when I'm working on other pieces. I will randomly collage a piece of like this here paper into the journal because it's got to be gotten off the desk and for whatever reason I've decided I don't want to put it down in the bin. So I don't and I think that what we're going to do is I'm going to show you my process for that and I'm going to collage some of the papers um, into my book. I'm going to have some fun with it. I'm going to turn up the music. I've got some gel mediums and some matte medium. Um, I need to use up these gel mediums, so we're going to use them first. And also the gel mediums, by the way, these, if you don't know already, gel mediums work better for heavier, thicker papers, and the matte mediums better for thinner papers in general. You can stick down thicker papers with the matte medium. Um, the, I like Liquitex fluid matte medium, um, but it's pretty thin and it takes a lot of it and it's tough to stick down. It's easier if you use one of these um, gel mediums. This is Indigo Blue's Super Thick, thick Slap It On. And this is a golden sample size of their regular semi-gloss gel medium, which is a paint additive to thicken paint, um, but it works great as a glue. I have another one over here. That's their soft gel gloss. So anyway, uh, these are old. I need to use them up. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna have a lot of fun while I'm doing it. I, no rhyme or reason. Making art and having fun with your art is not always about making a completed piece. Sometimes it's just about having fun and enjoying the process. And this month I am not gonna show you how to do a journal page or a piece of art. I'm just gonna show you my process for having fun. Well, and cleaning up this. <laughs> At the meantime, and no, that's not all of it. I also have these over here. Um, cleaning up this and having fun with the bits and pieces that I find in there um, at the same time. I'm not looking to finish journal pages and make a completed piece. I'm just looking to have fun to s slap some papers onto one of these backgrounds and um, have some fun while I'm doing it. And sometimes that's all it's about. You can go back to it later and turn that into a completed piece. But for right now, I just want you to have fun with your art. I want you to slap some paint or some paper onto a page. Don't worry about what the final result is because we're not looking for that. I'll be right back with my speed forward of my process.
And then lately, I always have, oh, let's see, oops, the wrong way, let's see, zoom out. I guess I'll back up. Lately, I always have a big jumbo piece of art paper here on my uh, easel, and it is covered with originally um, ink and sprays that I was trying to use up before I moved. So I did this in California last year. I have a number of these sheets. And then what I do is I take one of them and I put it on the easel and it just lives there. And when I'm painting, I wipe my brushes off on it. If I'm mark making, I come over here with a pen. Um, I put collage papers on it like I did now. I have this watercolor eye that was from a YouTube video from last month. I cut it out and glued it on the page. And at some point it'll become something. I don't know what yet. So I want you to go out this month and I want you to just have fun with the process, fun making marks. It's not about completing anything or making a perfect work of art. It's just about enjoying the journey. And I want you to remember that. And I want you to focus on that part of it this month. Um, I love to say that Ugly art is better than no art, so I want you to intentionally go out and make some ugly art, make some backgrounds, collage stuff down, don't think about it, uh, put, put painty brush marks on it if you're painting, um, just scribble on a piece of paper if that's what you're doing. That's what this is, by the way. <laughs> this is just, I was testing paint pens. Um, and I want you to just have fun with the process this month. If you're not part of my creative year and you'd like to be, the uh, link for the Facebook group is in the description below all the ways to support my channel and the free content here on YouTube and also on Facebook are in my link tree which is also in the description below along with all of my social media links are over in link tree uh, my Etsy store, my Amazon store, the tip jar, Patreon, all of that so go have a look and, and peruse around and surf around and have some fun and enjoy your process. And that's it for today. Don't forget the most important thing besides like, share, and subscribe, and that is to go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.